All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I pray y'all are having a wonderful, blessed weekend as we thank the Most High for so much. My title now says, Recognizing Satan as Satan. You know, um, there are a lot of people that say that, well, the devil never existed. The spirit of the devil never existed. Some people believe that our Savior never existed. I hear a lot of people say, man, no such thing as a lake of fire. There never was no such thing as hell. There never was a such thing of heaven. We just hear. You know, it's each to your own on what you want to believe. So many different races of people. So many people think this. So many people believe that. But see, with me, it's not about what I think. It's about what I know. It's about what I've dealt with with my own personal experiences and I know for a fact that these spirits out here are real because I used to spend a lot of time with them. Somebody know what I'm talking about. I ain't always been where I'm at right now. The most tired of late is heavy in my spirit because it's so many people not recognizing. It's so many people not understanding that this world, this this Satan's world is already doomed. And so many people who are calling themselves Christians, especially, I didn't say all, are not recognizing Satan as Satan. So I want to deal with 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. Now, deception has been going on for so many years, especially when you go back to the Bible. But when you look at 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14, it says that, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Is transformed. Key word, is, excuse me, transformed. This is when Paul was talking about false prophets. He was keeping real to the Corinthians. So much deception was going on then, and it still is now. And Paul wanted them to recognize that spirit. You know, if somebody don't know you, it's really hard for them to truly understand who you really are. You know, it's it's in this world there's so many twins. See, I'm a twin. You have identical twins, and then you have fraternal twins. You know, identical mean look just alike. And fraternal mean don't, you know, not identical, but look somewhat alike. And if you just look at twins for an example, even with twins, if you know them. You can see a big difference if you know them. You can see the spirits of twins. People always say it's always a good twin, it's a bad twin. But the identical twins, if you don't know them a lot of times, they can fool you. But see, but none of us can fool the most high. Let me let, let me put it to you this way. I know the devil. I know my enemy once again. I know my accuser. I know that demonic spirit. I recognize it. But once again, the key word in this passage is, is, is an angel of light. But can you recognize it? The Holy Spirit will show you if you don't have the Holy Spirit, how are you going to test these other spirits? See, the Holy Spirit is the tester. You have to match it up with the Holy Spirit. And if it don't line up with the Holy Spirit, it's got to be a demonic spirit. The Bible say, test the spirits by the spirits to see if they are of the Most High. Now, I want to ask you something. And this is not a trick question. Have you ever once read 
where the devil exposed himself for who the devil really is. I'll let y'all answer that. But have you ever seen the devil expose himself? Think about that for a moment. The devil is an accuser, a big time deceiver. But his system is so well put together. They are on one accord so hard that people, let me stop saying people, because he have already blinded the minds of the unbelievers. I want to talk to the church folks for a minute. His system is so in order that most of y'all ain't even recognizing who the devil really is. You can't see the deception. You don't want to really call that demon a demon because, wait a minute, JT, you talking about my Sunday school teacher. You don't want to really call that demon a demon because, well, that's my pastor. Man, he been at that church a long time. You don't want to call that demon a demon because, well, he's been a deacon for 22 years. See, Satan has many pastors, prophets, elders, bishops, teachers, church buildings. There are so many people calling, so many people bishops and prophets, and they really are just demons. You're looking right at Satan, and you calling Satan your number one pastor. I ain't talking about everybody that's like this, though, y'all. So I ain't going to be before you too much longer in this video. But I'll say this as I close. Technology. Let's take a... Um, let's look at a social media like Facebook. Look at how many people Facebook they problems instead of facing their problems. Look at the time that so many people spend on Facebook showing the whole world, world excuse me, all their business look like every 15 minutes. They even got trackers on there where we over here eating at such and such place. A lot of people don't even look at how much time they spend on social media technology. Now why am I saying this? Because most of this world has fallen for technology. Calling it technology. And you know what it really is? The satanic system. I'm not calling you, you know, a, a, a demon because you own it all the time. I'm just saying, watch what you do. You 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 have to understand it. There is a scripture, um, Ephesians 2 and 2, that calls Satan the prince of the power of the earth. Now you think about that for a moment. He didn't call him the king of the power of the earth, but he is called the prince of the power of the earth. What's up in the earth? Satellites. How do you get your cable? And then you look at Hollywood, I mean, excuse me, Hollywood. Somebody catch that later. You look at movies. You look at video games. You look at all forms of communication. And you see how Satan operates through that. Once again, this battle is not against flesh and blood. See, this is spiritual. Principalities. Rulers of darkness in high places. That's what, that's what this... That's what this struggle is all about. But he is called the prince of the power of the earth. So you can understand that he really moves through technology. But his kingdom, his system is so well put together. I'm not giving Satan no credit. I'm just saying that to show us that while he's, while they being on one accord, Look at how many Christians being more divided up. See, Matthew 12 and, and, and 26 says, and if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How will his kingdom stand? Hmm. 
see, when you look at that alone, that's going to show you how these demons, the wicked, the fallen angels, they are working together. While us is being more divided up. The so-called ones who supposed to be so true, so in order, so being on one accord. I ain't talking about everybody, y'all. And I'm just saying us in the term is because so many of us are always talking about we the true believers, we this, we we the real Israel, we this, we that. Well, why are we so divided? Second Corinthians 4 and 4 says, in whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of who the most high, should shine unto them. If your mind, if you are blinded to the truth, if you have a reprobated mind, if you keep rejecting, oh, teach Holy Spirit, my people will perish for the lack of. See, most people won't even accept truth because they've I already got it in their mind. They, they, hey, I know what I know, and I don't want to know no more. I hear what you're saying, but this is what I believe. When you keep rejecting like that, then there's nothing nobody can do for you. When you reject the most high, there's nothing the most high can do for you. But just leave you alone. Reject you. I know that sounds rough, but we have to understand there's a there's a shut off time with the most high. The most high don't play games with people. The most high is long suffering, very patient. But you keep playing around if you want to. And you're gonna see where you're gonna end up at. So once again, y'all, I want to do this video about recognizing Satan as Satan. Stop calling that man an awesome pastor when that man ain't nothing but the devil. But if you can't recognize the devil, then you're going to forever be putting people on a pedestal. I don't care how good that man playing that organ. That's Satan. I don't care how good that sister singing and shouting and, and laying hands over that. The spirit ain't right. That's Satan. But you want to keep calling it Oh, man, she's so anointed. He very anointed. Hmm. How many more times will you be deceived? Because let me tell you something. Satan is real good at playing church. Satan is real good at taking one word out of a scripture, flipping it to make it fit your lifestyle. I'll leave on that note. God have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Recognize Satan as Satan.